What's up, everybody? It's Game Player 2014. Playing some Spyro. Thought I saw something outside, but whatever. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. Because I'll have to use save states. Again. Let's see, do I get any options? Guess not. Holy shit, are the graphics even worse on the PC than they are on the PSP? I'm skipping this bullshit. This is my all-time favorite game. Oop. Gotta use a D-pad instead of the... Then the balloons will assassinate me. Throw me into the atmosphere. And then into space where I die of oxygen depletion. Number one, alright. Now how do I move? There we go. Deep. This is awkward using an Xbox controller. For a PlayStation controller. Because you're using a D-pad to move, you don't have an analog stick. But... Holy shit, the fucking lag. Take this shit. Die, bitch. There we go. Eleven gems. Oh, okay, here's the secret. And now I actually found this... I actually found- wow, really? No, I actually found this out by accident whenever I was, like, younger. So if you jump on these stones here, you actually get a secret area. And I actually found that out by accident, I was just curious of hopping around, so... Analog stick is useless. Oh, okay. Left trigger, right trigger. Now there's a small glitch with this dragon. Why isn't he? Why is he purple? He was. He's red. All right, whatever. All right. Well, the textures are fucked up. So. Anyway, the glitch is he. You rescue him twice. The first dragon you uh, recover, you find him in the last world, and that Dublin dude there, or Dublin or whatever it is. His name is. You actually rescue him twice, and his voice is different. He's supposed to be brown, not fucking gray, like puke. At least Sparrow looks like someone of his texture. Freaking Navi following me around. I'm kidding, his name is Sparks. I know you've, uh, whatchamacallit's Legend of Zelda fans are calling Sparks Navi. It's a fucking dragonfly in fairy. I thought it was a fairy too. And I thought his eyes was like hair or something. And that was whenever I was younger. It was like, oh, look at a female fucking pixie following me or hell around. No, it's a fucking dragonfly. And I just realized it was a dragonfly. Well, not just now, but whenever I was younger, I realized it was a dragonfly. I just ignored the text. I hit A as fast as possible. There's a cheat code for 99 lives. I've always used it. But I never really used all of the lives. I used maybe like five or six lives, and that'd be good. Now remember, I've beat this game about six or seven times. Once on the actual PlayStation. Uh, no, I got real close to it. Then my game disc is all scratched up, and you can't access. Now this world here I have on uh, PlayStation. You can't access it. The game just continuously loops. It's a perma loop. So call it. Oh, I thought the game was gonna crash. Uh, and then actually, that was the first one to freeze or go into an infinite loop. Then uh, I got past that, and then I actually made it to Nasty Nork, and the game never never froze. So. Then the second time I actually went to complete it, you know, to go back and get all the gems, because I actually looked up, you know, where all the gem locations were. And then, uh, turns out that, uh, when I went back to North Cove, it did the same thing as Stone Hill, just went to an infinite loop. 
So, I was pissed. So, that's about it. Then I went downloaded it on my PSP. Now, it's not illegal what I did, because I actually did buy the... I actually have the physical disc, so if the FBI comes knocking at my door, Hey, you pirated these? Well, no, I didn't. I just wanted the game on my computer and on my PSP, because my game disc is broken. I have the physical disc. I bought the damn game. Just, I'm playing it on different platforms. And that's what I believe in, is moving your game. Now, where the hell is the last couple gyms? Oh, I remember. Right by Stone Hill. There you go, Stone Hill. Town Square. There was one level that really freaked me out whenever I was little. It was Ice Cavern. Because I was so scared to look down, I actually had video game fear of heights. If that's even possible. But I did have a fear of heights... And I always feared of dying. I always died in that level. Always pissed me off. And that's whenever I was younger, I always died in that level. And that level, I was like, you know what, fuck that level. I ain't doing it. Went back and did it. Now, there's three lives. I don't even know how. To this day, I don't know how to get those three bonus lives on that. Fuck. On that, uh. I don't really call it a ice cavern. It's the second world peacekeeper. It's right near the balloonist, I believe. If I remember right, he's right. The level's right near the balloonist. And doc the Dr. Shemp boss. I'm missing four treasure. Three. Two. There they are. So that's about it. There we go. 100 of 100. Now these flight missions are sort of bullshit. Because if you complete all the flight missions. And nasty Nork. You should be. Ha you should have the ability just to fly around the levels. Like. Like. Instead of gliding, you should be you should have the ability to fly, and that sort of disappointed me. But it's still a 100 out of five in my opinion. This game is just it is just the all-time favorite game. It is I mean for PlayStation, this is just smooth gameplay right here. You don't have any of that lag. This is like 30 frames a second for PlayStation. It's ridiculous. Now there's a sort of a tactic. There's a way to do this real quick. You can rack up almost a minute. Now, I forget how to do it, because it's been a long-ass time of me doing this. That bitch. Oh, yeah, they call me the Red Baron shithole. Shit oh, yeah, Red Baron strikes again. Probably should have went for the fucking barrels first. But that was supposed to be the last arch. I fucked up. Show me the last barrels here. Die, bitch. Shit. I'm gonna piss my winter hole another day. Ooh, not dying today. Fucking coyote outside. I should just take a fucking 44 Magnum right to his fucking head. <laughs> I love coyotes as an animal, but... Not when they're around me. They travel in packs, they yip, they yap, they fist, they anal rape. It's, I don't like coyotes near me. Like they're they're a cute animal, but I fucking hate them. They're vermin. They're more like rats to me. Like people are afraid of rats. I'm afraid of an entire pack of coyotes. I mean oh, You'd be surprised, they ain't scared of shit. Fucking shit, there's a one more fucking train. Juice! That's the first time I ever in my life I ever beat this level on one hit. Fuck that. I'm not playing that again. This game is just, I could probably beat this game in about three hours if you give me the time. But I got I got furniture coming, I gotta wake up, wait for the the movers, or the furniture movers, whatever you want to call them. To, uh, I don't want to, I don't, how my lawn is, my lawn is sort of like a swamp, right where they can pull in and deliver the furniture. It's pretty much, like I said, it was swampland. Fucking, I don't want their truck sinking in, because they're going to damage me lawn. So, 
I remember this level very well. And there's, I think, a gem that's in the trees that I always miss. It's right where you chase the fucking thief, too. And this thief is a bitch. Like, all the other thieves, I never really had a terrible problem with. Even the one that's in Wizard Caves, or... I think Wizard Hill, or whatever the fuck that level is. The one, Wizard Peak, I think. The one that has the two thieves. The one that's, like... Where's the thief? It goes around, like, a little thing at the end of the level. It goes around, like, a little pool. And then there's the one where if you fly, you gotta use, like, three supercharges to get to it. Oh, there's a glitch in this. Uh, not this world, but in Toasty. It's sort of a hilarious glitch. It's useless, so, but... I ain't dying, bitch. Uh, those guys I'm killing right now, they have, like, dogs or whatever. Now, there's a small platform that the one is on. And if you get close to him enough, he won't be able to hit you. It's hilarious. He just keeps whacking the sticks. I sat there whenever I was a little kid. I found this out. I was like, man, this is the first glitch ever. I think it might have been... Nobody really knows about the glitch. Because it's just such a minute glitch. But it's probably one of the first glitches I've ever found in my life. And if you actually did it, you could, you could actually potentially get an extra life out of it or two. But you'd have to... I think I did at one point. Did If I remember right, you did give me an extra life. Yeah, that beach right there. You can get to the end if you wanted to. Say, hey, please do new. Sort of useless. But you can't miss these gems up here. Everybody misses these gems. And that's how you get Nasty's loot level. It's a bonus. You can beat the game a hundred. Ooh, not jumping off yet. Just yet. Not just yet. Fuck, I get up here. Now, where's that gem I always miss? Might as well get that for her. Hmm. Where the fuck is it? Like, these are force fields here. Found that out the hard way. Cave and charge blast. It's an actual wall, too, which is kind of cool. Sort of like Grand Theft Autos. Can you? Okay, the flames go a little bit past it, but that's about it. Where the fuck is this gym? I know it's in a little area of trees. I miss this one too. Every once in a while, I'll miss that one. I'll find the gym in the trees, and then I'll just forget about that chest. I hear the fuck it is. here it is. I think. I know it's a green fucker. It's a green fucking gem. There it is. Fucking camouflaged. Okay, I think. Now there's a thief up here, unless a thief. I hate all this. What the fuck? There's no dragon eggs. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, cool. I don't have to worry about dragon eggs now. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I do. There he is. Die, bitch. Egg number one. Ah, you gotta kill your first thief to... I see. I did not know that. So you can learn something new every day. You go play your, your favorite games and then you find something new. Could be a glitch, or well, not a glitch, but could be a uh, a fault with my PC. Yeah, there's a key. I pass up the key. All right, Gavin, the tavern. Don't care. Dragonfly's got gigantic eyes. That's a weird white flash. But all right, we're getting shit done. I might actually do a walkthrough of this game. This is probably the first time I ever actively commentated a game like how I have right now. Because I, I, I know this game so freaking well. It reminds me of a story. On my, uh, I think it was the first day of kindergarten, whenever I turned, like, maybe five or six, I got a PlayStation 1 from my uncle. 
but I got a bunch of games too. But they were like rated T games. My me mum didn't let me play them, so I was SOL. Then uh, for my birthday, I got Rayman, the original Rayman, the hardest fucking game I've ever played in my life. I got that game. I got and then I got Spyro, and then I think my my dad, I think my father gave me a. The, it was a, a deluxe edition, it was crashed, th it was Crash Bandicoot 3, Crash Team Race, and Crash Bash, it was like a super, it was like a super pack, it was a, it's a collector's edition, I should say, I have all three of them, Crash Team Racing don't really work, you can still race and shit, but you can't do them, you can't do like story mode, because it'll freeze, you can't play multiplayer anymore, because it'll freeze, using well, no, no, you can, you can do multiplayer racing, but you can't do like, team battle or multiplayer battles. Those were cool. Um, Crash Bandicoot 3 still works, though. Every single level, and despite how fucked up it is, it still fucking works. That's what I like. And Crash Bash. Yeah, Crash Bash still works. Except for maybe, I think, one level, but I can't unlock the level anymore, at least. You know, I, I went back to playing Crash Bash on my PSP, and I cannot fucking... I remember the dragon drop. I used to be fucking beast at that shit. Fucking, it was like darts and shit. Like, Grant, I thought of darts. I'm unbeatable with darts. There's a tip. You can, there's a tip in GTA darts. The triple, don't go for the bullseye. Go for the triple 20. Because you're getting 60 instead of 50. And if you do it right, you'll actually cut your score in half versus the bullseye. Because you're only going down like 150. And I think you end up... What was it 300? 150. You'll actually go down to about 120 if you hit all 60s. Now, if you hit all 60s again, you'll be done. You win. You won the game. I think. I think you. I mean, you might have to double. I'm not sure. I don't. If I remember right, you can hit the triple, but you might have, they might have changed it, I don't know. I never tried going, no, I did try for a triple 20. Yeah, I did. I tried going for another 120, and then it said you had to double. And then I got back to the 120. It's all 200 right there. Well, I've been recording for about 20 minutes. I really, really love this game. I have Spyro 2 Ripped Edge Rage from my one friend, he bought it for me, for PSP, you know, he, he used his account, but he bought it for me, and, uh, I, I actually don't like Spyro Ripped Edge Rage, or in the UK, it's Gateway to Glimmer, and then I played a little bit of the third one, and I really didn't like the third one. Everybody tells me, oh, the second one's the best. Not to me. I mean, Spyro barely talks in the second. He don't even talk in the third one, I don't think. At all. And it's sort of stupid. Like, I like the voice actor for Spyro in this one. Then they change his voice actor. I mean, I understand the, the I guess, the puberty thing. Where his voice, like, gets a little deeper or something. Or he changes. His I... Don't like how silent he is. Then, like, what was it? You, who the hell owns it? Universal Studios? Or was it Naughty Dog? Whoever the hell owned I think it was Naughty Dog. No, Insomniac. Uh, uh, Insomniac made Driver, the Driver franchise. Insomniac sold out to another company, and then that company changed them. And then after the third Spyro, they went way downhill. They suck. So, the new Spyros I played, what was it, the, the one with Cinder, you gotta do the first level, you're tied to Cinder, then, uh, if I remember right, you had, I played it on the, it was a Wii, I think it might have been the Legend of Spyro, I think, I don't remember, I just remember it was a newer Spyro game, you were, you were tied to Cinder, like, you had, like, the fiery levels, like, you had to escape, you bastard. You had to escape and shit. 
was like a, a cell or something. And that was sort of that was all right, but the the core game. The core gameplay was like eh, nothing to be desired. Was it? Then after you escape the dungeon, you're in a forest, and then you had to hop up on like these pedestals. They're sort of they sort of look like this, these here, or where the chest is. But you had you jumped up on this on these like rocks or something. Then like this thing here, that little area there. That's raised up, and you have to try to glide, and it is fucking impossible. It was fucking impossible. I rented it from Blockbuster before they ran before they uh, sold completely out and, and died. And the fucking game was stupid. I looked up the how to, and he's supposed to be purple, not gray or blue gray. I remember this game in and fucking out. The colors and shit. I just... I just dominate. It's kind of weird how you're killing frogs all the way around. I mean, I know the norks are sort of like frogs, though, but... Sort of killing their babies. Oh, this dude here is cool. I always had fun. I sat here for like three hours whenever I was a kid. Because he would go, hey, he did it the first time. Huh? Yeah, that's awesome. The memories. Yeah, my head up your ass. I like this enemy too because he don't kill you. You bastard. You bitch. No, I could never tell if it was male or female. I think it was, I always thought it was female, but I don't know, that might be genderless. Alright, Oswald. At least your color's half decent. Why are your eyes fading through your forehead? I just saw your brain. It looked like the size of a T-Rex's. There's a key for the beginning of the map. Everybody, I think, I used to miss the jewels here. Yeah, I always missed this one. Uh, well, the first time I played it, I missed that one. I got 100 out of 100 because this is an easy level. It's not... It's not ginormous like fucking San Andreas. Like, San Andreas was a ginormous map. You could find a hell of a lot of weapons, though. But Artisans is pretty easy getting all the treasure. Because they're, they're not, like... They're not like San Andreas. The Nort Cove. I think it's either Nort Cove or Twilight Harbor. It might be. It might actually be all the worlds, but it's a pain in the ass to get all the treasure in them. Because the, some of the treasure, you actually have to hit a barrel. You bitch. You actually have to hit a barrel to hit the ch chest, and it's just a it's a, it's a nut. It, it's a pain in the nuts. It's the one that, there's a lot there's a lock chest. Oh, I forgot about the supercharges too. Twilight Harbor, you had to get a supercharge. There was a keyless crate, as I call them, or a keyless yeah, a keyless crate. And you had to supercharge fucking a thousand miles just to hit the crate and get all the gems. It was a pain in the dick. You could do it though, but it took me like five or six tries to really get it. Uh, do I have all the chest? No, I still have the key to the chest. Me, sorry, dude. I still have the chest. The be no, 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 no. I still have the key to the chest in the beginning. You bastard. So yeah, whatever. Like, if you ever watch my previous commentaries, like, you sort of know I, like, I sort of don't know what I'm doing when I commentate most of the time, but, like, this, I know what to talk about, like, I just go all the gems there, it's pretty damn cool. I could commentate this game all fucking night. Oh shit, it's one in the morning, I think it's coming nine, the nine to eleven, I will. Uh, I actually have a cheat book here. I remember I used to go to the library. Like, my computer was all fucked up and my internet was fucked up. 
so I couldn't really locate cheat codes. I don't know the world's Sony you know, Dark Hall, Sony Flight, a Toasty. Oh, I don't do Town Square yet. I'm dragons gonna kill 10. I could actually go on to the next world if I wanted to. But anyway. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I'm damn tired, but I got so many thoughts running through my head. How many times did I beat this? I beat this, I think, seven times on my PSP. And then, I think, twice on my... Uh... PlayStation. Still the same damn game, though. I can play this game forever. It's, it's just... This game here is, like, critical. Like... No. Games, to me, are like YouTube. You got all your subscribers. Like, you, you get interested in one person, and you sort of just die off of that person. Like... How do I explain it? How I want to, uh... Uh... Yeah, 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 okay. KYR Speedy? I got interested in him, because... He had a Black Ops video, like... The Black Ops 2 trailer, like... What they were gonna add, or what they need to add, like... They need to add Velociraptors and lightsabers and shit. Like, that would be fucking cool. Like, that was funny. Then, uh, I got subscribed to the, the Deluxe 4. I don't watch either of them anymore. Well, every once in a while, I'll pop into the Deluxe and see what the hell he's doing. This guy's an asshole. Killed him. But, uh, I used to be... Well, no, I'm still subbed to him. Like, all my subscribe... Like, if you look at my list of people I've subscribed to, and how many videos I've watched of them, it's really low compared to Critical. Like, I was... Like, critical. I don't get bored of him. It's just something about him that's... It, it just... You bossed it. Let's see if I can do it. Bitch. This thief is sort of an asshole. Anyway... Like, Critical, Spyro is like me to Critical, or, well, yeah, Spyro the Dragon, to me, is like me to Critical, like, I'll just keep coming back, Boston lag, I'll just come back for more, it's just very interesting to me, interest me, look at you kissing the egg, you fucking weirdo, do you ever look at his face, it's just, Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Oh, yeah. Talk about stealth and a half right there. No, I always miss this treasure. When I go back and play the games again, I always miss these treasures. It's the corner treasure. Okay, now there's a little cheat I want to sort of show you. And it involves the spinny things. They sort of look like fans. You can actually kill enemies with it. It's hilarious. It's actually somewhat quite useful. Okay, now how the hell do I want to do this? Okay, oh. Uh, I'm gonna try to aim it. Okay, it's gonna go for the, something near the home. Near the home portal. Maybe it actually hit something. What it hit on him? Oh, it might have hit the dragon. I think it did. Pretty damn good hit. But yeah, you can use it. I think they flew a little farther than that one though. You're not welcome. Alright. 144. Square root of that is 12. I like to keep my math skills up if I possibly can. Like, I, I'm out of school and everything, but I still like to try to do a couple math problems in my head. Keep my math skills up to speed, you know. 
it's actually healthy if you, like, do your math equations and shit while you're out of school. Because it keeps your intelligence up. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I don't care. You, you told me about the thieves and I already killed, like, two of them already, so. Let's sit here and eat chickens. I love how they turn into butterflies, like. If you realize, like, after you kill these animals, their butterflies are like their spirits, and Sparks is like eating their souls. Like, Sparks is like a soul eater or something. Spyro is like the, the Meister. If you've ever watched Soul Eater, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I've already recorded for a half hour. I don't think I could beat this game in three hours. It might take me like maybe five or six. But I could beat it. Not hard, but it's it's a really excellent made game. Like, like when I destroyed my PS One, I'm gonna tell another story. I had a, the original PS One one with the the oh shit, get the hell out of the water, bitch. No, I had an original PS One, the big gray ones. They sort of look like a uh, Atari's. I had one of them, and I flipped out, I was maybe like 8, no, yeah, I must have been like 8 or 9, I would have had to been like 8, no, I would have had to been younger, maybe 5, anyway, there, my PS1, it quit working, right, so I'm there sitting, banging on it, banging on it, picking it up, slamming it against the freaking thing. I broke the laser and the motherboard in it, and when my dad took it apart to fix it, he, the motherboard was cracked and destroyed, but a penny fell out of it. He's supposed to be blue, I think. But a penny fell out of the fucking PlayStation 1. If I were to sh if I were to have shooken it and wiggled the penny out, it would have probably worked. Anyway, I got a PlayStation 2 out of it that Christmas, so I was probably like maybe three or four months without it. My sister was probably maybe. Yeah, my sister would have probably been like two. Now, this is. Yeah, I was gonna try to do the tactic. I don't know, all the time. Die, bitch. So, yeah, that's about it. This is what you would call boss level. I, I fucking keep hitting the wrong damn button. Fall off the fucking cliff, you asshole. So, yeah. So, I got a PS2 out of it. I actually smashed the PS2. I, the laser on it was actually cracked, was cracked because I was playing it so much. So, I got a new laser in it. It's the original fat PlayStation 2. Oh, look at that ninja rule. Awesome, that shit. Oh, I wonder if this glitch exists still. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll see the glitch. Yes! Yes! I got the glitch. See, he can't fucking hit me for shit. Oh, get the hell off, Maccapee. I don't give one fuck. I'm gonna close this shit out of here. Ah! Thank goodness for touch screen. Oh, wow. There we go. Thank goodness for a touchscreen laptop. That's one thing I'll give this computer. Like, I hate... I hate touchscreen computers. But... When something pops up and you can't, like, exit out of it... You, or you can't use the mouse... You could use the touchscreen and, like, bypass using the mouse. It's very useful. So, every once in a while I'll use it. Now, touch keyboards, I'll never use it. Look at the polygons, they're glitching out. See, it looks like sand. It's all supposed to be lava. Probably because my graphics card's a piece of shit. This is more of a work computer, more than a gaming computer, but you know, whatever. 
and games, and that's all I care about. This, I had a computer, it was a, I think a, it was a compact, and that's with a Q. Oh, this boss is hilarious, this is probably one of my favorite bosses of all time, because it's a fucking sheep. There you saw him. Oh, no, it's chicken, I think. I always thought it was a sheep. You bastard. Oh, that ninja rule. Uh, fucking frame rate's going down. No, it is a sheep. In Europe, it's a fucking chicken. I don't know what the fuck it is. I always thought it was a chicken. That's a, it is a fucking sheep. Sort of look like a chicken though. I remember it being a chicken. Thought it like bad like a sheep, but you know whatever. I guess it really is a sheep. Oh well. Childhood dreams crushed. No we're a grand. We have a grand. What can we spend my gems on now? I'm kidding. I fucking hated that shit. Like, if you could buy upgrades in Spyro instead of just buy her away, like, having an actual value for the gems was sort of bullshit. Like, oh, to use this elevator to get up and down and proceed through the level, you need to buy your way to do it. Sort of bullshit. It was bullshit. Like, if you could buy, like, a flying ability or something, did I kill all these levels? One, two, yeah, Stone Hill, Park Hollow Town Square, Toasty. It's amazing how I have this entire map in my head. Going on to the next world. You know, I think this is a good stopping point when I get to the next world. No, I don't know how to save a state, so I'm just going to hit F1. I think that worked. What F2? Now it's changing the slot. Okay, F3 loads it. Oh shit. Oh shit, talk about playing in fucking super speed. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Go Spyro, holy shit, die bitch. Can I kill you? Talk about super speed kill. You can glide. Shit. You're going way too fat. Wow, this is a hell of a lot harder playing in super speed. I never had this problem on PlayStation. It's really difficult. Fuck. Well, now Spyro's on cocaine. A lot of cocaines in the system. You fucker, you. You prick. You bungalow. Alright. <sighs> Fucking twat. I had that. Alright, you wanna fuck my frame rate? Whoop. Oh, hey, what happened? Was it F5? Or no, F4. Oh, F7 goes window mode. Hey, dude. Don't know what it does. F9, nothing. F10. Freezes it. I don't know, it pauses it. Okay, cool. But F11. 12, nothing. F1 saves the state. So. F5. No, was it F3? Okay, cool. Now I know how to use this emulator. Holy shit, I thought that was a fucking alien or something coming to kill me. Alright, well. 
probably a good stopping point recorder for like 40 minutes. That's the end of this video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Peace. My mouse. No, I could use touchscreen.